G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Today I'm going to show you uh, an easy modification to the spray burner to make it into a package unit ready for putting into a furnace, a heater or some other application. Let me show you how it's done. As mentioned in the last video, I'm uh, going to enclose this burner and uh, to do so, I've disassembled it into all its parts. Yep, that's it. You're looking at it. That's all it takes of this burner. Uh, as I said, the uh, amount of complication, expense and fuss other people go to these things with just to make fire uh, positively astounds me. Stone the crows, they must have some time on their hands. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just basically uh, get this uh, lump of tube here and I'm going to um, add some more complication with this uh, little elbow fitting here. It's just the corner with a, um, a nipple so I can get it through. As you can see I've carefully butchered a hole in the, uh, in the tube there and I'll put this in. Uh, what I might do is also screw the actual nozzle onto it um, just like that, another very difficult procedure. I'll jam that in there, put it there like that, hope I'm keeping this in camera, and then just screw this on. As you can see, I've got all the other fittings um, already attached there, which uh, came off the burner originally, so there we go. I might just try and work that back, doesn't want to. So, okay, so there, to put the uh, oil feed in, we put it uh, through like this. No, we put it the other way. I keep doing this the wrong side. Okay, oil goes in there, like that. And we tighten up the little fitting. That's it. And the air comes back like that. Now that's all there is to doing these burners. I mean, come on folks, how simple is that? If you can't do it well, give up and go back to third grade that's all I can say so now we have the nozzle you probably won't be able to see it or maybe you can there we go the nozzle shooting down and that's going to give us our burner uh, pretty easy and um, we'll fire it up and we'll see how it goes I haven't uh, put thread tape on it and it is uh, dribbling a little bit. It's not quite all burning as it gets uh, pushed through the tube. If the tube was a little bit longer or the nozzle was a little bit further back, I imagine it would just burn up and that was it. But uh, otherwise it's uh, burning exactly as it should. So if you do this, don't forget to use a bit of thread tape just to seal it up properly. I've just been playing with here is uh, using the air valve to control the output. Uh, I guess it uh, does work the same as reducing the pressure, uh, so that is also something that you can uh, use as well. I've got it turned down a little bit at the moment. Let me play with it and show you how it uh, will vary.
all just on the air. I didn't actually touch the fuel. So it looks like once you get the mixture pretty right, you can just vary your pressure or your airflow and get throttle control with that. A, uh, another very uh, worthwhile feature of this sort of burner. Thanks very much for watching.